Welcome back, Central Georgia. Bibb County has delayed fall sports competition for the time being while they evaluate the COVID-19 situation. That doesn't necessarily affect football season quite yet, but softball competition was put on pause before it could ever really begin. Dugouts sit empty. Helmets unworn. Bats not used. We were looking forward to being able to play. We were supposed to play today. Actually, it was supposed to be our first game. Instead, all Bibb County softball coaches like Jennifer Raymond can do is oh, tend to their fields. In the long run, you got to do what's best for the kids. And, and if they think that that's, that's the, the best thing right now, then, then I've got to agree with them. Last Thursday, Bibb County decided to postpone fall sports competition. The pandemic has already hit the Chargers hard. They only have 11 players because they couldn't have tryouts in May. Amanda Maddox over at Rutland feels Raymond's pain. Trying to get new girls interested has been a challenge. Uh, I think all of our numbers are down this year because of that, because we couldn't actually see them and talk to them and meet with them. The postponement means no games, although teams can still practice. But both Raymond and Maddox have put practice on pause until more info is available. We're going to decide on this together, how many days a week they want to practice uh, and, you know, let them know that we could, Mike could start back at any point. And Maddox knows if they return, it doesn't mean they'll stay. They know when they get on the field that, you know, that possibly could be their last game and, and not even have anything to do with our county or it just with the circumstances, period. Softball is one sport that almost naturally social distances, but both coaches agree their sport is a casualty of the big one that isn't. You know, you don't want to be selfish, you know, and, and, and want the things you want, but, but in the long run, you got to do what's best for the safety of the kids. Coach Maddox has postponed games for the next two weeks in hopes of rescheduling them. But like all coaches in Bibb County right now, all they can do is wait and see. In Macon, Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ Sports.